Welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm CJ Sonner here with head track coach Phil Kopinski. Coach, you guys continue to get things going. We talk about moving up the step ladder and kind of working forward. Now you're into week two. What your thoughts on the meet? Oh, that's a tough question. You got to start with the hard ones. Well, I, I think there is still a lot of positive uh, where we are in training cycles. We've talked about this in years past. Uh, we didn't have overly high expectations. Uh, still trying to train through a lot of the meets continue to get stronger, work on technical aspects, and a lot of it paid off. Uh, freshman uh, Deja Sartin from uh, the West Suburbs, uh, indoor lifetime best in the triple jump. I think it might even be an all-time best outdoors from her high school marks, and here we are in her second meet in college, so good things to come there. Uh, I think Enrique Ramos from Arkansas, uh, still trying to figure out the 800, raced a superb race technically. Now we just got to work on getting them faster. Uh, Simone Wilson from Minnesota continues to impress, breaking the school record that she broke last weekend in the 60 hurdles. Also ran in a, a pretty impressive 200 meter, uh, which is in a strong event for her, and was a part of the 4x4 four four that set the women's indoor school record, which was Simone Wilson, Chelsea Wilson, Kim Gonzalez, and Kayla Armstrong, three freshmen and a senior. So things are looking promising on a lot of levels uh, on the guys' side. Uh, Thomas McNamara had a, a strong race. Nothing that's going to show up great in the stat sheet, but as far as from a training standpoint, very well done. And, and some of the newer kids are, are actually stepping up pretty well. I like to see uh, Anthony Cepeda doing well. And our throwers just continue again to perform at a good level. So uh, if we can get all these pieces in the right place come February 25th, I think good things can happen for the Concordia track and field programs. As you said, it's promising, but kind of elaborate a little bit more that Yes, we're seeing records getting broken in week two that you know that there's that much more potential and that that's much more you can push these athletes to continue to grow. Yeah, and uh, records are a nice barometer for athletes to shoot for. I don't, I don't think it matters the sport, whether it's rushing yards, strikeouts in a season, or a 4x4 four four record. Athletes like to be pushed. Those are the athletes that you love to have uh, in your organization working towards what it means to be a student athlete. And I think we have quite a few more that are going to go this year. Uh, and I think it just, we're at a point now where four years ago when we sat down and started these, the goal was to turn Concordia into a, a winning program. I think we can use that designation as winning now. You know, we're, we're transitioning into that next step to actually be a conference contender. And if we keep rolling this way, I think positive things are going to happen. And that comes from the buy-in of the athletes to all your different mm -hmm. training programs from Amanda's to Lori's to yours to everybody that's involved with the Concordia track. And the school. I mean, the school has to continue to uh, impress students like it has. They're showing up. They like the student-to-athlete ratio. They like the one-on-one. -on -one. They like the interaction. Our financial aid packages are competitive with other schools. So you put that component with what we're doing on the track. Uh, it's a way easier buy-in, uh, I think, for student athletes now. I think we're attracting a uh, higher level student athlete than we had before, which is just great because if we're better, you know, softball's better, softball's better, women's basketball. Although you can't imagine them getting much better right now because that 9 true. 0 streak is hot. Keep that up. Uh, but everybody, high water in the harbor raises all ships. And we're doing it from athlete to athlete, and then it's going to be program to program. And I just look forward to Concordia Athletics over the next few years. How do you keep pushing these athletes now that you're starting to get in? Obviously, everybody's really excited when you first arrive on campus for the second semester that their season's starting. But now that we're getting into weeks three, week four, to continue to get them to continue that buy in to keep working harder to push themselves? Uh, Mondays are always tough. Mondays are always tough because every Monday you have to reassess how tired they are. Uh, we had three kids this morning at practice. They're like, well, I'm going to quit. And it's just. Monday. They quit every Monday and they're back every Tuesday. So uh, you, you just have to continue to explain, you know, that it's a, it's a process that we're working on. And, you know, the t-shirts the out there say it all. You know, our sport is your sport's punishment. You know, if you didn't do it right for baseball, they make you run around the field. We have to run because we have to run. So trying to get those kids to buy into that every day, it, it's, it's a tough sell, but records and accelerating a program to that next level makes it much easier. Well, besides your guys' accomplishments this week, we've got to compliment you for the haircut this week. It looks good. Got one, finally. <laughs> well, it always has to come to an end sometimes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> by the end of the year, mullet. Me and you both. We'll get some mullets. We'll get there. We'll deal. <laughs> All right. 
If you need to catch up on Cougar Track, you can always find all your information at cucougars.com.